Ah. <clears throat> hey guys, it's Kim. Um, <laughs> I wanted to do a little something today. Um, my, I have two businesses, as some of you may or may not know. Um, and I want to talk to you a little bit about those because I have some really exciting stuff going on and I'm like super nervous about this because it's really cool. But I want to show you a little bit about what I'm doing first before I launch into all this. So I'm going to kind of spin you around here. This is my studio, AKA our storage area in the basement. And so I'm going to flip the screen and show you that here's my freezer. <laughs> But here is also um, my camera studio. You can see that I actually have a monitor set up so I know that if I'm in focus or not while I'm recording video here in the studio. Um, and then I'm going to kind of turn this back here and we're flipping around. And you guys can see there's all of our storage stuff. But I do have like a lighting set up. Um, there's me. And a little bit more so you could see this is kind of what I'm what I'm working with here okay so just so you get a little bit of a feel for what's going on so first of all I was telling you I own two businesses one of them is called content a la mode and I've been doing that for two years as of the first of November here so it's been really exciting and what I do is I do content marketing for businesses so anything from social media strategy and implementation to email marketing, blogging, SEO, video, photography, and things like that. So um, what I've been struggling with the last two years, as any business owner will tell you, there's always struggles in your business, is that um, people want to meet with me, um, which is great, totally not a struggle there, but what they want to do is they're like, okay, hey, Kim, um, let's have coffee, and we meet. I buy my own coffee, they buy their own coffee, and then what I do or what they do is they're like, they want to pick my brain. And picking your brain is basically what I've learned is, hi Tim. <laughs> basically what I've learned is that when people want to pick your brain, they want you to tell them how to do what you do so that they can turn around and do it on their own. And um, as you can imagine, for someone who teaches this stuff, does this stuff for a living, telling someone how to do what I do for free just doesn't work. And, um, so what I decided was I needed to capitalize on that because quite frankly, if I'm going to teach someone to do what I do for themselves, I'm going to charge them for it. And so therefore, um, my second business was born, which is called a cup of content and a cup of content is a membership based platform where I'm teaching people how to do content marketing for themselves. So it's anything from like the nitty gritty of social media to um, blogging, SEO, video, email marketing, uh, WordPress websites, content, 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 and so on. There's so much more that you can do with um, content marketing. And so I'm setting up something to teach people how to do what I do. But I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna get teary about this probably, but um, it's been a struggle for me because it's a huge project, a huge undertaking, and I really wasn't sure I could do it. I mean, I think what I realized is that I'm not afraid of failure. I'm afraid of success. And um, I, I mean, I failed a lot at life and, you know, at, at lots of things. But I mean, failure is how we learn, right? And um, I, I have to stop being afraid of succeeding. I know it sounds really crazy, but it's something that I've, I've struggled with. And um you know, I, I also had this crazy misconception that I had to do everything before I launched a couple of content. And what I've learned is that's not possible. Um, I thought, okay, I'm gonna start, I started this whole idea in February and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna launch this um, in May. And what did I do? I put it off. Um, I worked on the website. I did all sorts of things, anything but really get ready for this. And again, that fear of success was kind of getting in my way. And um, then I thought, okay, I'm going to launch it in July. So I started recording videos. I got a lot of stuff done, and it was really super cool. Um, and 
then what I did was I decided I got to start getting some things situated so that people can see, get a glimpse of what I'm doing for free. And so what I did was I developed the seven actionable steps to, um, I can't really like think of what the name is, seven actionable, actionable steps to better branding. So I've got that available on my website. You can actually check it out. It's a cup of content dot com slash seven days. It's the number seven. So if you want to go sign up for that, and the cool thing is, the the cool thing is people are telling me like, oh my gosh, Kim, this is super awesome. I can't believe you're giving it away for free. And that's what I wanted. I wanted people to be like, holy shit, I get all this stuff for free. And I mean, what's it going to be like when I subscribe to this membership? So that's what, kind of what my goal has been with it. And that really got me excited about it because I got really good feedback and it really pushed me to start recording more and more video. And so um, that's what I've been working on since February is recording video, getting this ready to go. And so um, for the next 14 days, I am going to launch this. I came on Facebook Live today to say, I am going to launch this. I'm going to make it happen. Cyber Monday. That's the day a cup of content is going live and open for membership. And so um, for the next 14 days, I'm going to get on Facebook Live and I'm going to promote it. And I'm going to talk a little bit about um, what my struggles have been other than me crying about stuff all the time. But, um, you know, give you some insight about what, it's take, what it takes to start a membership platform because it's really tough. I mean, there's so much that went into it. I literally, and, and I'm, people know me, I'm, I am a cheap ass. I grew up pretty poor and I conserve my money. I mean, look at me. I've got a kale sweatshirt on right now. I mean, I, I, I spent some money on this, and it was really hard for me. It's been really hard for my family, and thank God for Chris. He's been awesome throughout all of this. So um, what I want you to do is I want you to kind of stay tuned for the next two weeks. I'm going to get on here. I'm going to tell you about all this stuff, um, and it's all going to be a great lead-up into Cyber Monday when a cup of content um, launches. So I would love it if you would share this with anybody that you know that needs to learn about how to do content marketing on their own, how to do video, how to, you know, how to do this stuff on your own for your own business or, you know, cause there's a lot of small businesses out there and that's primarily what my demographic is. So, um, I really would appreciate you sharing that and telling people about what a cup of content can do for their business. So, um, you know, I, Thanks so much for watching and watching me cry because everybody who knows me, I'm a crier. So um, be sure to sign up for the early bird registration. It's right at the top of my website at acupofcontent.com. And you can subscribe on YouTube because I'm going to have some stuff going on over there. Uh, subscribe here on Facebook Live and get updates for um, when I'm live on Facebook. Check, it, check me out on Instagram. All of my stuff for a cup of content is that same handle, a cup of content. So check me out there. And I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Thanks. Blah. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. <laughs>